Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone out there in Facebook land. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Lewis Reyes, and I am your exchange's senior enlisted advisor. We have a nice guest today, cool, awesome. She's going to boost our spirits today with some of her music. I am excited to have her. But before we get to our guest, let me introduce my co-hosts, Julie Mitchell and Leah Matthews. Ladies, how are you doing? Hi, Chief. I'm doing great. How are you? Outstanding. It's always a great day when we have, you know, someone to sing for the, for the crowd. It is. Hi, Leah. Hi, y'all. How are you doing? Good. I'm a, good, good, good. So, Judy, let's get this started. You mind introducing our guest? I would love to introduce today's guest. Um, we're super, super excited to have her with us today. We connected with her from our friends at Bose. Thank you to Bose for hooking us up with her today. Her latest release, Break Things, spent 25 days on Spotify's U.S. Viral 50 playlist and was on Global Viral 50. She's here today to talk about her personal connection to the military and boost our spirits with her music. Please give a round of applause for Nashville's Kylie Morgan. Woo! <laughs> what, a, what an intro. I can take you out on the road with me when I go back out. <laughs> hey, sounds good. See you there. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for having me. Um, I just want to say I, I'm just so excited for this. And I want to thank um, everyone who's watching at home, as well as Bose, who has been so amazing to us uh, to sponsor this. So I'm very excited to be here. Thank y'all for having me. Awesome. Kylie, thanks so much for taking time out to be with us here on Chief Chat. And for everybody watching, drop a note in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from. If you have any questions for Kylie, we'll be reading those live throughout the broadcast. Now's a good time to start a watch party to enjoy this live Chief Chat with your friends. And if you're not already following us, you should because Chief Chats are every Tuesday and Thursday. We have a lot of great guests lined up and we want you to know who's coming up next. Kylie, it's great to meet you, and it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Before we get into your music, we'd love to know more about you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, and how you got to Nashville? Sure. So um, I'm from a super small town in Oklahoma, Newcastle. It's um, right next to Norman, and it's literally the typical country song of we have like three stoplights kind of situation. <laughs> so uh, I grew up there, um, but I started going back and forth to Nashville at um, 15 years old to write, uh, co-write songs for the first time. Um, coming out here and dabbling, going back and forth. My grandfather's actually from uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. So I've been coming back and forth since I was a baby. Um, always raised on country music and, and just absolutely loving everything when it came to um, anything that I was listening to or wanted to uh, perform for my parents and made them sit on the couch as they, as they watched me <laughs> put on shows as a kid. Um, I think my mom knew that she was in trouble when I was obsessed with all the Shirley Temple videos and would go and find a dress up drawer that like would look something similar to what she was wearing and put on shows for my parents in the living room. <laughs> and so um, I always grew up on country music and actually didn't even know there was another genre of country or of music in general until I was like 12 when the iPods came out and these kids were playing <laughs> rap music on the playground and I was like what is this like I so used to like Loretta Lynn, Shania Twain, Patsy Cline you know and so um, I actually started coming back and forth to Nashville and fell in love with it. Um, when I was 12, my papa got me my very first little pink guitar for Christmas. And um, I just fell in love with performing and writing and um, playing. And that it honestly became my therapy. I would come home after school, lock myself in my room, and then just spend all night writing and kind of getting my feelings out. It was definitely uh, cheaper than therapy for a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> so um, started going back and forth and then um, met a guy named Russ Davidson who just took me under his wing and saw something in me and um, moved to Nashville at 19, signed my first publishing deal. And that led to um, me writing a lot with a guy named Walker Hayes. I'm sure a lot of you guys know Walker. He's awesome. And, and so um, when he signed over to a company called Smack Songs, which is Shane McAnally's company, um, they actually found my songs in his catalog and they wanted to have a meeting with me. And I just had this feeling that this was my next home. And so I met with um, Robin Palmer over at Smack and ended up meeting with Shane at the Bluebird Cafe. 
and um, they offered me a deal. And then that turned into me signing my first record deal with Universal about a year ago. And um, now we're putting music out and it's finally all coming together 10 years later, really. <laughs> oh, congratulations. That's that's awesome. You have a um, good career going a- ahead of you. So that's that's great. And you brought up your papa. And yes. I know that he is near and dear to you. And he also did some military service. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I actually have a couple ties. Um, The first one is my grandfather. Um, He served in the U.S. Air Force. Um, Go Air Force. Yes. Go Air Force. (laughs) There we go. Actually lied about his age and said he was 18 when he was 17 so he could join. So he was very eager um, to get involved with that. And so I've always heard stories from him. And then um, I actually brought in a special guest that's going to come over here real quick. Wait, my you're bringing in the special guests? Wow. My friend Trevor is I'm actually. Not that special guest. <laughs> Hi, Trevor. Hi. Hello. Trevor has served as well. And Simplify. Oh, Marines. Oh, Marine. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, Trevor, 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 hold on real quick. Hey, Osby, come over here real quick. Let me, let me hook you up. I got my boy. He, he in the Air Force now. He was in the Marines. He was in the Marines. Blue Rod, that was okay, super fire, brother. Hey, once a Marine, always a Marine. <laughs> and now so an Trevor Airman. And I, Trevor and I met about a year ago. It was, it was, it was like, like four, four months, months ago. ago. I don't know why I said that. I feel like I've known him forever. Um, but once he found out that I was performing, I was like, well, you guys gotta, you guys gotta stay and just hang out and say hi to everybody. So yeah. uh, yay, <laughs> hi, a special Trevor. treatment. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna let her get back to it, guys. Thanks, Jeff. Oh, he's cute. I don't know if he's your boyfriend, <laughs> but he's cute. You hang on to him. He's yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, Jeez. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> This is Love Lines with Chief Julie and Leah. No, just kidding. <laughs> We're here to make connections for everyone. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> awesome. And Kylie, as you know, we have soldiers, airmen, sailors, Marines, Coasties, and military sp- families watching from all over the world. What words of inspiration or thanks do you have all of, for all of our heroes? You know, this is a hard question because words can't really describe really what I feel for everyone who's watching right now. Um, From from everyone who served to their families as well. Um, I get to do what I get to do because they do what they do. And so I get to live my dream and live in this amazing country and do what I love because of everything that they've done for us. So honestly, thank you would be an understatement because there's no words that describe it, but I just put my hearts out to you guys. You guys are constantly in my prayers every night before I go to bed and you guys are always on my mind and I just can't thank you guys enough for what you guys do. Excellent. Thank you. I know that um, those watching will really appreciate that. Well, you know, uh, we've been checking out your music Can you tell us, I think you already hinted at it, how you started your career, but you started writing songs when you were 12 and about your, can you tell us about your new release, Break Things? Yes. So um, I can't believe really what it's done. Um, We have released a song called Break Things um, right before quarantine hit. And so it was a very scary time to like make a big release and a big push through a major label. Um, And it was really my first song that I kind of was writing everything on and um, especially with us not being able to tour it was became a completely different you know situation and so when we when we released it it was just kind of like all right well I hope this works out and turns out it did Um, streaming wise it's I think it hit 12 million streams and um, in the past like couple months since we released it and um, we actually just finished filming the music video for it which will be out soon on CMT and um, all the other networks and and it really was just one of those things where I was so worried about it with everything happening in the world and then I just gave it up to God and I said you know what he's gonna take care of me he knows that I, his plan is greater than mine his timing is better than mine so um, I just gave it up to him and it turns out it worked out because it's doing really well and um, I'm just so excited to get back out there and release some more music we just got out of the studio a couple of days ago so we have some new music coming soon and I'm um, very excited about it excellent Kylie we would love to have you perform for us can we hear break things yes you got it awesome <laughs> Don't look, don't touch. You know that's where your 
That's crazy. I was, I was looking, did you write this one? Was this written by you? Yes. Yeah. I was looking at, I, I follow the lyrics while I'm <laughs> just to make sure. You know I what I mean? It seems, that. it seems like you're outgoing. I'm the type that'll break the ice if you're standing in the corner. You know what I mean? But then you're a wrecking ball. Like you're going to break their heart. I mean, what's going on here? What, what's going on Literally with these lyrics? Literally just might as well wear a warning sign. <laughs> yeah. They, they're basically saying, be careful. I, like, I, I might be a little bit crazy, but I'm the one you want. Like, I, <laughs> I love that you're analyzing this song. This is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, we got the lyrics here. You know, I got to look this up, make sure I'm reading it right. And so hearing it right. I'm such a lyrics person, so I'm so glad that you looked up the lyrics. When it comes to that, I'm like, I love that. That's great. <laughs> she's breaking hearts, Chief. That's what she's I, doing. I saw that. I saw that. She, she actually wrote it right here. Don't, uh, she actually, hold on. Just the, yeah, break things. Don't stand too close. Oh, no, don't fall too hard. I ain't a promise in the dark because I break things. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like very accurate too, from wine glasses to coffee cups to like to, to hearts to hearts <laughs> to hearts probably. <laughs> Kylie, uh, that was really fantastic. Thanks so much. You're getting a great feedback and love right now in the comments. So just want to take a second to read some of those. Yes. Shakira says, hi. Chuck says, good morning from China Lake, California. Uh, Shelly says, so beautiful, born in Oklahoma. Also love your uh -huh. new single. People are watching from all over. Um, but I do want to say Rich says, you sound amazing and we are so happy to have you as our ambassador and that you are making time for this wonderful connection with the military family. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm just like so happy to be here. I, I honestly like, I miss the human connection so much when it comes to performing and this is the next best thing. So very happy to be here. Thank you guys. <laughs> hey, so Kylie, you've been chronicling, uh, chronicling your journey to Nashville on a new YouTube series called Hometown Heartland. 
right? And I told yeah. you earlier before before we were on the show, I was doing some research on on Kylie. All of a sudden, on Facebook, this ad pops up, and it was like, "Find out how she how I got my pink guitar." And I was like, "How do they know? How do they know I'm looking her up?" Oh my god, is Kylie? I know we talked before. She like stalking me on Facebook. Or am I stalking her? I don't know what's going on here. How does she know? I want, I want to know about the pink guitar. So, uh, so what can we expect to learn about you on the show? So what, um, what I was honestly very, like, very a little just like taken back by the whole thing, because I'm like, why do people care about where I'm from and like who I am kind of one of those things. And so when we ended up doing it, because we had so many people um, that I've asked for kind of a backstory background. And so last holiday, um, we ended up going back to my hometown and just interviewing everyone and being a part of how I became who I am, honestly. And so um, we interviewed everyone from my papa who did give me my little pink guitar to my dad, who is usually the one fixing the things that I break and um, <laughs> everything in between. So um, I think that I'm really excited about this series because you really get to know me and get the backstory of everything. And I feel like it kind of gives fans and everyone who's been following me for a long time, um, just another mm -hmm. look inside who I am as a person and um, how that came about. Very good. Um, you mentioned a little earlier that you just went back to the studio a few days ago to record new music. So how did that go? And what else is ahead for you? Man, I honestly had never left the studio more confident and on cloud nine. Um, <laughs> we just, we cut four new songs that I'm just like so excited about. And I feel so proud of every single one of them. And after we finished every single one, I was like, well, that's my favorite. And I was like, oh, that's my favorite. And so <laughs> it, it just went so smoothly. And usually we get stuck on a song or usually like something happens where we get, you know, it takes a little longer than usual. And, and it didn't, everything just spilled out and the musicians were fantastic. And my producer Shane and um, Ben Johnson were just so excited as well. And so I think it also came from, we were just all so excited to work and be around people. And so <laughs> that was had a lot to do with it. <laughs> Kylie, we'd love to hear more of your music. Um, can you tell us about American Dream and play it? Yes. So um, this is the first time I'm playing this live. My boyfriend um, actually had to teach me on guitar this morning. So this is, uh, <laughs> this is a new one. Um, this is pretty special to me because um, I think that, um, you know, the American Dream is such a widely ranged thing that people say. And, um, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, it's the white picket fence with the house on the hill and the wife and the, and you know, like the husband and the kids and like the, the job and like they think that, you know, like that's the American dream. And really now that we're evolving as human beings, as a country and all together, I feel like that is now just opened up this whole new portal of any way or how you feel about the American dream and how you can create that for yourself and what that means to you. And so um, this is my song and this is my definition of the American dream. And um, like I said, it's the first time I'm playing it. So um, you guys, I uh, get to be my guinea pigs. <laughs> If I had one, I'd paint it green. I've never been a fan of being fenced in. I'd rather be an outlaw on a free. Raised up in a small town. Don't want to burn down bridges. But I am who I am now. And I don't really like my picket fences. But times ain't what they used to be, but it's still the same, red, white, and blue. And we all wear them differently. I have a choice, so I'm gonna choose. Ain't that the beauty in being free? I get to make my own American dream. Whoa! Living my American dream. Well, you and me, we're really not that different. Truth is, we all want the same things. A home to come home to, someone to belong to, even if it means not wearing rings. Cause stars ain't what they used to be, but it's still the same, red, white, and blue. 
We are waiting differently. I have a choice, so I'm gonna choose. Ain't that beauty in being free? I get to make my own American dream. Whoa! If you were raised up in a small town Or come from a big city We're all under the same stars Tonight so raise your glass if you wish If you're from a small town Or come from a big city We are who we are now So come on raise your glass if you wish Cause times ain't what they used to be But it's still the same, red, white, and blue We all wear them differently I have a choice, so I'm gonna choose Ain't that the beauty in being free I get to make my own American Thank you. <laughs> like, it takes a minute for it to unmute. I'm like, they made it. Yeah, it's on mute. So. I know, I'm, no, I'm we to, loved it. <laughs> I'm trying to unmute it, and then, you know, it takes a second, but uh, that, that's a great song. Loved it. I was listening to some of your lyrics, kind of like, you know, uh, uh, not similar, but different, but uh, I know the first song you said you like going 65, or if the, if, if the speed limit is 65 on breaking things, you'd rather go 90. And this one you said, <laughs> don't like, don't like white picket fe fences. So I'm going to paint it green. Yep. And then uh, another cool one, someone to come home to, even if I'm not wearing a ring. Interesting. Amen. Interesting. I try to find the lyrics online, but they're not out there. I don't know what's going on. No, this is a brand new song. Like I just wrote this not too long ago. So it's very, very new. So um, like fresh. I love that. It's very fresh. So um, you guys kind of get the first bit of it. <laughs> Wow, thank you so much. I was like Googling. I'm like, man, I know she said it was new, but Google has everything and I couldn't find it. So I'm trying to listen. Google doesn't even know it yet. Yeah, Google doesn't even know it. It doesn't even come up yet. Yeah, you're right. So thank you so much for that for that uh, uh, debut of the song, American yeah. Dream. I I'm excited about it. So going through Facebook, a lot of, a lot of great comments, a lot of lo likes and loves. We do have one question here from, oh, now I got to find it because it, it, it moved on. Brian Hyatt asked, what types of things do you enjoy doing when you're not playing or writing music? Great question. Um, so I am actually a certified yoga instructor um, on the side. I fell in love with yoga after um, spending 10 years of being a gymnast. I really miss that kind of mind-body connection. And so when I moved to Nashville and there was so many opportunities and yoga studios everywhere, I really just fell in love with it. And so me being a type A personality, I can't just be a student and wanted to be a teacher. So um, <laughs> I ended up going to San Diego for a couple of weeks and got my certification and actually have been teaching um, some online classes uh, called Namaste at Home. That's a series on YouTube. So, um, during Namaste quarantine, that can't be busy. <laughs> you know what my favorite? My, yeah, I have to check it out. My favorite uh, move after doing yoga is, is is at the end. What is it? Shavasana. Just, Shavasana. You just lay down. <laughs> Yesterday I taught an mind. online class and I was um, not feeling very. Uh, up and going. <laughs> I kind of just wanted to do Shavasana for the 45 minutes. <laughs> that's, that's what I feel like all the time when I'm doing yoga. People don't, yoga is like tough. People think yoga, you know, your flexibility, oh, it's your hard. Range of motion. I mean, it's hard. You know, it gets, you know, warrior one, warrior two, downward dog, all these moves. Tree, okay. You know I what I'm saying? Hey, hey, I got, yeah. I got, a, little, <laughs> I got a little tree move. I got yeah. a little tree move. You know? Oh, hold on, Chief. Do that again. Let us well, let got, us pin hey, your video. I got I got a little tree move. No, Namaste. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, then you close your eyes and try to look up and it gets harder. So I'm a fan of yoga. Oh, so I know I how it. hard it is. And thank you, you know, for, for teaching people. It's, you know, it's, it's a different type of workout. I think it's more mental sometimes than it is. It is. And to me as a very, like, um, honestly, like an artist type, I'm always like, what's next? What am I doing next? And yoga is really the only time that like I'm in that moment on that mat. And I feel like that really helps all of us, especially um, if we're, you know, dealing with um, some mental 
you know, clarity issues or kind of needing to just step out of the world for a minute. I feel like that really helps. Oh, I, I agree 100%. You just answered my next question. So thanks a lot, Brian, for asking the question because it, soon, it went right into my next question and, uh, you know, talk about yoga and how to stay, you know, physically and mentally resilient. And of course, for you, you know, it, it, it truly helps, truly helps people. So if you're not into yoga, get out there, you know, check out, check out Kylie at Namaste. <laughs> I have to look this up now. <laughs> do you see, <laughs> Chief, do you see the comment from Jerome? No, what do you say? He's got oh, jokes. Okay. <laughs> Where's Jerome at? What did Jerome say? Jokes. My, my, my favorite? favorite move after yoga is eating pizza. Oh, what a guy. <laughs> Kylie, what do you have to say about that? I mean, I'm all about balance. So <laughs> <laughs> detox, retox. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Kylie, I think we have time for one more song. Can you tell us about Boys Girl? And there is, I mean, so Chief has been spitting your lyrics back to you all day, but there is a line in this song that's just like, it really speaks to me. It's, if you piss me off, I'll say it to your face. Love that line. We would love to hear <laughs> you play the song for us. Um, love it. Of course. So yeah, so um, definitely an update is um, if I'm feeling something, you will know it. <laughs> I'm a very open person. Um, but no, I, I really love this song because um, first of all, it was my first release that I ever did through Universal. And I just wanted the first one to be kind of an autobiography. That way it can get fans to know who I am as a person and as an artist. And and truth is I grew up a tomboy and my mom tried to stick me in these stupid purple outfits and I hated every one of them. And I couldn't leave the house without a bow or a hat. And so as soon as I was old enough, I was like, just, you know, out on the softball field and usually not wearing white, which I'm actually a hypocrite right now because I'm wearing white. But um, I, I think it's one of those things about just embracing your imperfections and um, loving yourself through that. So this one's called Boys Girl. When I get married, if I ever do, don't give me a diamond, it's something I lose. I'll get red wine on me by the end of the night, so I don't bother wearing white. I look better in blue jeans and dresses and lace. If you piss me off, I'll say it to your face. Windows are down, I'm gonna refix my hair. Cause I don't really care. Though I'm a little been drawn to trauma, and I probably won't show up your mama. I'll never be the Tennessee. Get some more whiskey, less girl. No, I'm nothing like you, exes. More for wheel drop, less laces. I'm feminine, but I've always been a more of a boys girl. 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 More of a boys girl. Sugar and spice, yeah, that sounds nice, but it's too sweet for me. My edges are rough, but I'm soft to the tight. So I'm be jealous. What you need? Cause I've never been drawn to trauma, and I probably won't show your mama. I'll never be Miss Tennessee, more with you, less girls. No, I'm nothing like you, Texas. More four wheel drive, less Lexus. I'm feminine, but I'm always there for us. Boys, girls, boys.
no, Thank I wonder which so one's much. my which one's my favorite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> They're all so good. What, what was your so favorite? Good. What was your favorite, Julie? Leo, what was oh, your favorite? I don't know. I really I liked that last one a lot. I did. But I liked I did. the other ones too. They're they're all no. going on my I, music playlist. They all yeah. are. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say that. I think the last one was my favorite. I think. Yeah, it was good. Love it. I think the last. <laughs> I did one like that one. Good attitude I, I with that it. one. I don't know. I like it was sassy. Which is your favorite, Kylie? A little, little bit of uh, tend to be a little sassy sometimes. So. <laughs> <laughs> you which is your favorite? Then. Which is your favorite, Kylie? Um, I honestly, I've I've been playing these songs so much, and so I think the newest ones always ends up being my favorite, just because it's something new. <laughs> so. I would say American Dream is my favorite right now, just because it's new. But probably when I write another song next week, then it'll be something different. <laughs> so, <laughs> how many songs do you like write? How long does it take you to write a song? And how, how do you um, like every week you're just writing songs? Are you sitting there like oh, I'm gonna write a song? Yeah. So it depends on the day, but like we wrote, so we wrote Break Things in like an hour. Like it just kind of spilled out. Um, and it was like kind of the same thing with American Dream. Um, and then some songs like Boys Girls took about three to four hours. Um, but um, we also like recorded it and did a demo of it. And so it kind of just depends on um, on how the song is coming about. But usually if I have a title in my head and I know what I want to write about, it usually goes pretty fast because I feel like if you overthink it, then um, then it doesn't become genuine or honest. So um, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm about with my music. So what comes first, the music or the lyrics? I'm trying to, um, I don't it know. Depends. Uh, so like sometimes like I'll, I'll usually Poor, my poor sleep schedule. I will literally wake up in the middle of the night with a song in my head and have like lyrics that I want to write down. So like, I'll like put them in my phone at three o'clock in the morning when I wake up, <laughs> when I have something in my head and then I'll put music to it. But a lot of the times if I'm in a co-writing session, um, my producer or whoever I'm writing with will put down a beat or like some sort of chord progression and then I'll sing over it with the melody. So it kind of just depends. Wow. Thank you, because I don't know anything about the music industry. I learned from all you guys and everything you say. So I'm always Aww. wondering, like, well, what I comes first, the lyrics or the beats? You are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I, so sweet. <laughs> that's what these cheap chats are about, right? Getting to learn more about you and and how it works, and of course for the audience to kind of understand a little bit more. So thank you so much for providing that insight. Oh my gosh, thank you. And I I want to like keep connected with all of you. So all of you watching right now, follow me on Instagram at Kylie Morgan Music. I want to see your pictures that you took from today. I'll be reposting a couple if I get any. So um, tag me at Kylie. Kylie Morgan music and I would love to um, love to chat with you guys about today and um, and everything from so on so would love that awesome Kylie thank you so much so you've just told us where we can follow you on social media what about where can we find your music and do you, you have an album coming out Yes, you can find my music anywhere. Um, music is sold or streamed. So Spotify, Amazon, Apple, Pandora, all that fun stuff. Um, a quick little cheat sheet, you can go to my website, KylieMorgan.com, and that has absolutely everything. Um, like we just went back in the studio, so I'm hoping that we'll be releasing another song soon. And then um, maybe an EP after that. We kind of are just waiting to see what happens uh, for the next single. So TBD on that. Got it. Well, Kylie, stick around after we're done here in a minute, but it's been an honor having you with us today. Thank you so much for sharing your grandfather's story, of course, and sharing your music too. And big shout out to Trevor. Tell him thank you for his service if he's back there. A big thanks to Bose for making this happen. We yes. appreciate all the support, right? Big shout out to Bose. Bro, Bose. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for partnering. Uh, thanks for setting up Kylie with us. Uh, we, it was a treat. Uh, this means so much to our airmen, soldiers, sailors, Marines, and Coasties. We wish you the best, Kylie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stick around. Bye, Kylie. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so Stick much. Stick around, Kylie. Kylie. Stick around. Dallas out.